I threw my dash away before I realized that I still needed it in order to figure out where to cut the hole for the heads up display. So today I'm just gonna figure out where that hole needs to go in order to fit that and the little bezel and clean up this interior. I got a really good deal on a dash but it doesn't have the hole for the heads up display but it has like the holes where the bezel goes and then this gives a pretty good idea of where it cut. So to start out I have a 3 16 bit and I'm just gonna drill in these holes. It's about, it's a little bit smaller than these pegs. It'll just help me align everything. And I didn't do this hole because this one's broken anyway, so it don't matter. So now I have a better idea of how my bezel's gonna sit. So I'm gonna start by cutting this edge because that's a pretty solid straight line. And I'm just gonna use like a small portable bandsaw for that. Hmm. I'm gonna have to slowly do both sides at once. So I'm gonna use this line because I know it's a little further in so I can just trim it as I go. Okay, not as easy as I thought. I'm gonna try with a hacksaw now. So now I can get a better idea of how much more material needs to be removed to fit this on there. So I'm gonna take a Sharpie on the inside edge in here and get a line. Stick down just a little bit more in the corners up here. I don't know why I didn't think of this sooner, but a freaking Dremel would be so easy. Should have just started with this.
think the back is pretty close, but I'm just gonna go down this line and shave just a little bit off this one. So here is the final product after a lot of fine tuning and trimming. It's not the prettiest thing in the world, especially up here where I got a little ambitious, but uh, it'll, it's all covered by the bezel, but it still fits up really nicely. As you can see, I'm still going to probably glue it and just clamp it just a little bit to make sure it doesn't pop up at all, but still pretty good fit and then from the bottom side to give you an idea this pretty much followed the straight line and definitely don't go to this edge because these clips need something to hold on to and then this kind of go around and then make a straight line with this edge and I mean, it would be better if that peg was there but it still holds on okay I am gonna glue it because I got it in the car and I was bolting it down and like the back edge was still lifting a little bit. So I'm just gonna run some Gorilla Glue around the outside edge, just get it to hold better around here. And since these tabs really help anchor it in the front, I'm just gonna run it from like these pegs to the back. So I just took the clamps off. They had been on there for about two hours. Everything sitting real nice and flush. I had a little bit ooze out here, but I don't think it'll be too visible. But everything's sitting down real close. Looks nice. So here's the finished product. Sat down pretty nicely. Interior's all tied back together. Got my trim pieces back in. And in the next video, we got something special coming for the interior. Hint, hint.